Thank you for tuning in with Sobossi and the Brand Agency. This is Christy LaShawn, and today we have with us. Ron Rico Giron. Okay, it's nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm great, I'm with you. Good. So tell us about uh, Black Business Prosperity Magazine. Okay, well first let me just start off by introducing myself. I'm Ron Rico Giron, um, Charleston, South Carolina native. And uh, Black Business Prosperity was Official South Carolina Business Agency in Anaheim in 2017. Marketing and advertising platform strictly for black owned businesses. And in um, 2018, I wanted to take it up a notch and, and try to go in a different direction to further reach black business owners. So I thought about doing a publication, but digitally. So um, I, then I, I was like, you know what, let's do something different. You know, even though we're visual features and um, with technology, everything is like hands-on, in hands, um, I still wanted to do a physical publication because when you're in the grocery store, um, standing in line, you see magazines, but you're waiting your turn, and so very seldom you see a magazine that reflects us. And we gravitate to what looks like us. So most of the time you might see the own magazine at Essen. Most of the time it's just own. So I wanted to be more than just own, like people that you see in your neighborhood, the businesses that you patronize or would like to patronize. So that, that's what that idea is. Okay, I think that's awesome. So how do people get into your magazine? Simply going to www.b as a boy, b as a boy, p as a fall magazine.com and click on the uh, contact information and submit the uh, the form to me or my assistant and we'll reach out. It's, it's for everybody, it's for all black owned business owners. It's, it's not, you don't have to be of a certain status to get into the magazine. You can just be starting out and you want this to be your first official marketing platform for you to get started, it's for you. What's going on, y'all? I am Ron Rico Dudon. I am the chief editor of Black Business Prosperity. I am a native of Charleston, South Carolina, by way of Angola, Africa. Of course, always representing that black, green, and red flag at all times. Y'all come check me out at www.bbp magazine at B as in boy, B as in boy, P as in Paul, magazine.com. Check us out. So tell us about your new, your new, or your first issue that's coming out. Who's going to be on the cover of that? Alexis Alexandria, the cake lady, okay. the cake ball West athlete in Charleston, South Carolina. She's going to be on the cover. We're talking about business, COVID-19, and being in business. Um, we are talking about balancing family relationship and business. And um, just talking about her, how she got started, and her, her passion for baking. Yeah, she does an excellent job. I mean, excellent, yeah. So, how, how do other people get into the publication? Like, if they, can it be any business? If, if it's an auto mechanic shop, for example? Any business. Any business. Any black owned business. So, what size column do they get? Is it not they, a whole <laughs> they don't, it, it varies. Um, when it comes to the actual cover and the cover story, I handpick that because. We could be talking right now and I could just I could just feel something or get an idea and I'll reach out to you. And I just I don't go based off of your local popularity, social media popularity, anything like that. I just see a vision and I run with it. And you may tell me no and that's fine and it may not be a, a no, but it might be a not right now. Right. You just may not be ready right now. Um, but Anybody can get into it. It, it. it doesn't matter what type of business it is, as long as it, it is a legal entity within the state in which you are doing business. Because um, we have to try to protect ourselves. And, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't vouch for your business 100 percent because you're going to be doing that with your app. Yeah. So we have. Four different sizes. We have full page, we have a half a page, we have um, one fourth and three quarters. So it's totally up to you on what size that you want. Okay, and you have also a lot for other advertisements like with music artists and yeah. people that draw pictures and things like yes. that. Yes. 
Artistry is a business. So if you're in an entertainment business, if you're a music artist, if you paint, if you're a poet, if you do whatever, you know, if, if it's a legal business, you have the talent or you, you know, whatever business is, because people fail to realize that entertainment or artistry is a business. It's a business and they should not get excluded from that. So it's, it's for every business, every type of business. Yeah. So where do you see the, the big black business in <laughs> Prosperity <laughs> Magazine going in the next five years? I just see it everywhere. You know, when, when you when you go into the stores, like I mentioned before, and you don't see that representation, right. I want to be that representation. And not me, so to speak, but us as a whole being represented more, being more vi visible, you know, not just being hidden behind uh, 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 a touch screen. You know, I want us to be out on the forefront. Okay, so how many uh, uh, publications do you plan to actually Well, like I said before, it, it's going to be quarterly, but I, I, I'm not planning on stopping. I'm not, even if, even if, people aren't that receptive to how I'm doing it, then I'm going to have to shift the paradigm and, and, and try something different. But I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. We need it. So you think um, by putting your publications out is going to draw eye to more of the black business thing physically? Definitely, because sometimes we can't see it for ourselves until we see it for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in the day, J.C. Penney used to have a catalog that you would get from the store that was about that thick right there. We used to sit around in a circle, me and my siblings, and we used to play a game called the Black Lady. We would flip the page until we saw, we had saw the Black Lady first, we would slap our hands on it. Wow. That's what you call a true lack of representation. So. That's what I'm trying to change. That's what I'm changing. Not only me, but everybody else who's willing to work with me. Everybody else who's doing the same thing, but on a different platform, like what you're doing right now. You're changing that. So we all have to work together and seriously keep that circle tight. Okay, so tell us what advice would you give someone like myself who is in the entertainment industry? doing the marketing and advertising, you know, being that you've got the magazine and everything. I haven't crossed over to the magazines, I don't know, but I'm kind of close with the blogging, so what advice would you give someone like myself? Know your niche or niche is something you call it. Uh, and truly know your demographic, because so often we have that vision of what we want to do to be this the we miss the target audience. And who we think our target audience is, is not necessarily our target audience. So do the true research. Have a plan, a solid business plan. A business plan is the foundation to your business. If you build and you don't have a solid foundation, Nothing's going to withstand the storm. But if you have a solid foundation and you build in that storm hit, you still have that foundation just like our hurricane season here in Charleston. So I say have a business plan because it's the roadmap, it's, it's, the, it's the GPS to your destination. You have to, you have to know where you're going. You have to know where you're going. And know that know that you'll know that your 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 true passion, your true passion could be within what you're doing. It may not necessarily be what you're doing right now, but it's, it's in there somewhere. And find that thing and know that you can turn your passions into profit. Believe that you can. Tell the people that. You need to say that in the camera. <laughs> turn at the camera and say, turn your passion into profit. Turn your passion into profit. Know that you can. Believe that you can. It is possible. It is very possible. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, I do appreciate you coming out and having this interview with us. Thank you. It's been Thank my you. pleasure. This one goes out to all the non-believers. Yeah. Yeah. Coming out the woodwork, woodwork. Only a second 
before the fireworks. Fire.